It has been difficult for so many Americans to watch the Taliban take over Afghanistan and watch the U.S. military exit a country in chaos. For a local mother whose son died fighting in Afghanistan, it has really been heartbreaking. Matt Lawrence brings you a new perspective from that Gold Star mom. America will never forget their sacrifices. At Veterans Plaza in Edmonds, a mother shares her grief. Today is, would have been, um, Eric's 31st birthday. The hardest thing right now is the fact that all these emotions are being resonated. Her son, Eric Ward, who graduated from Mount Sai High School in Snoqualmie, put college on hold so he could serve his country, joining the Marines like his father, grandfather, and great-grandfather before him. His pride seen through a smile during his first deployment to Afghanistan, but the machine gunner who always kept others laughing. was killed in action while in Afghanistan's Helmand province. Ward was just 19 years old. I asked, what would he be doing today? Would he be married? Would he be having kids? Would, I don't know. She does know it pains her to see these images on the news of Afghans desperate to escape. It breaks my heart because there's people there dying, literally dying to get out of the country. A Taliban takeover, leaving this mother asking if her son's sacrifice more than 11 years ago was worth it. In my emotions, I have a hard time describing because some of me, some parts of me is I'm angry. Um, I don't want to think all the bloodshed and the deaths were for no good reason. Over the years, McNeil has found so many ways to keep Eric's legacy alive and is determined to not allow the war's final chapter to diminish her son's sense of purpose. You don't want to say it was for naught, and I don't want to ever say that because I know my son was very proud serving as a U.S. Marine. A mother's commitment to honor the courage of those willing to fight. He is a Purple Heart recipient. Of course, I always want to share his smile. I love that smile. And not let it be lost on the outcome in Afghanistan none of us wanted to see. Matt Lorch, Q13 News.